Hello YouTube and welcome to Navisim 101 and we are in Ecuador at the moment just navigating our way to the main airfield at the front and hopefully our TBM 930 should be waiting for us on ramp 56 so here we are in the main airport so we're just heading out now to the TBM 930 and uh, this is one of my favorite aircrafts of the simulator. I must admit I haven't that much flown anything else. The A320 Airbus on the simulator needs some work doing to it and is nowhere near the standard of uh, PMDGs or Aerosoft shall I say A320. But the uh, TBM 930 is very very good and it's an aircraft of choice but it has a throttle system which I thought perhaps maybe others are struggling with to try and get the levers to work properly so I just thought I'd make this short video just to try and help those of us who might be having difficulties setting up this very unusual throttle system with your Cytex throttle or whatever you're using Okay, so let's just go inside the aircraft and see what we can do. So, how do we get to use our throttle system with the TBM 930? Well, you're going to need a piece of software called the FSUI PC version 7. Now, most of us flight simmers will be familiar with the version 5, version 6 that we use on P3D. So I've provided a link in the description below. So just click on that link and it will bring you straight to the download. And once you've downloaded it, just click on the extractor file to extract it to a folder of your choice. It's completely a standalone file and it's different in that some of the DLL files that version 5 and 6 depended on, well, doesn't need to in this particular version. So that's good and also this one is a beta version so it's still in trial and it's free at the moment so unlike the other two uh, you, you don't need a license just yet so you can use the software okay so once you've extracted it you click on the application file which will then cause a title screen to come up and then it goes straight to system tray now just click on it from the system tray and then it will bring up this box here. So what we're looking for is the assignments tab and first of all we go into the axis and when you get to the axis you go straight to this part here that says profile specific. Now I always do this because I think it's good to give your assignments a name for your particular aircraft so you click on that box and then it asks you, do you really want to apply the general assignments to your aircraft? Well, I click no, and then you click new. Okay, and then you type in TBM 930, click OK. And now that becomes your aircraft where you're going to assign these control inputs. Okay, so what do we do now? Okay, so we have our Cytec throttles and we can see the throttles on the TBM 930 and also the FSUI PC7. So what I'm going to do is just move this lever and you can see the numbers appeared but it hasn't actually changed. Now what we need is for those numbers to actually go up and down so we'll do a rescan and see what happens this time okay that's good the numbers are moving that's what we want then we click on this button here so we check that and we go down to the drop down menu and we go down to axis and we're looking for throttle one okay so there it is we click throttle one set and we click OK now we at this point we can actually click rescan and do the other levers but uh, we don't have to and for the sake of the video let's just show what happens when we do one okay so 
and you just saw the little save screen come up. So let's just move that. Right, so we've now set the power lever. Okay, right, so what we want to do now is bring up the access tab again. And this time we want to move the propeller lever. Right, so once again the numbers are not moving, so let's do a rescan. And let's try again. Okay, now they're moving up and down, that's what we want. And go back to this checkbox. Also, do make sure that this, this circle is checked as well. Make sure it's in the middle there. Send to FS as normal axes. Right, so as we did before, drop down box and we're looking for axis once again but we're looking for propeller this time and it's propeller one set and then we click OK also make sure it's profile specific as well you can see that it is up there TBM 930 and we click OK and we have a look at the throttles and see what happens okay and it moves across down and it goes down right that's the second one done now what we need to do now is cause the lever to go down to cut off and also into reverse so how do we do that well we go back to access sorry assignments and this time we go down to the buttons and switches tab okay now what we do is uh, if you have a look at the throttle the position between here and there is a switch. It doesn't actually come under axes. Now what we need to do is make sure that the profile specific is set. And we'll do that again. There you go. And we'll go over to this checkbox here. Select for FS control. Check that. And go down to this drop down menu. Now what we're looking for now is the throttle, not axis, the throttle decrease. So let's see if we can find that. Once we do that, we go down to this other checkbox and we check it and we go to the drop down menu and we find the same control input again. So there you go, throttle one decrease. Okay, and we click OK. Right, now you can see it's automatically gone to the cutoff position. That's because it's actually in cutoff here. So we take it out, move it up a bit, and you can see that it's now in the low idle position. Okay, so let's just move this up here. And then we move the power lever forward and move the power lever back. But look what happens when we actually select the switch that we've just created. It goes into reverse. So this button here, this switch is acting when it's on the power side, it acts as reverse. And when it's on the feather side, it acts as engine cutoff. So that essentially is how you set up the throttle system on the TBM 930 to work with your throttles. And before we finish the video, one thing that I need to remember to tell you is to do with the control settings that uh, you have on the simulator. So let's go to controls and just go to your throttle quadrant. So here's my one. Now let's make sure that this is the one we're looking at. Okay, so, right. So that's the quadrant that I'm using. Now, when you click power management and mixture propeller and throttle, and I move my levers, so you can see that the, the simulator is actually registering the throttle movements. Now this 
can actually cause a conflict with FSUIPC because that software is, is saying one thing and the simulator is trying to do another. So it could cause a conflict. So uh, with P3D, you may remember that you can actually disable your throttles system from the simulator and use FSUIPC 6 or 5. So what we need to do with this one is disable them. So that's very easy to do. And we'll just double click on the input and we'll click clear current and click validate. And there it goes. Double click, clear current input, validate, and it's gone. And the last one, we do the same. And it's gone. Now, if you want to get those back, all you have to do is go down to the bottom, click Preset Manager, and just click this arrow here, which will then basically give the give you the option to restore it as it was before we deleted it. So that's it on this tutorial on how to set up the TBM 930 throttle system. If you enjoyed this video, please do like and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell notification so you can be notified for more videos. So that's it for now, and I'll see you again in the next video.